This is Arjun Don, 55, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Morphing and Data Studio to change your character's faces and other things, which figures might have, and how to move the characters around. So first, to morph the figure, morphable object, which will be his face. So I double click it, then I go to parameters, and then I go down to pose controls. And on the Genesis, it's called pose controls, and on most posers items, it's called morph. And let me select his face. You can slide these to change the expression. These are keyframeable, so you can make different faces. It just takes forever. But um, to do it faster, if you want to go, let's say, to I, and you type in I in the search, and it makes it only eyes. Or there's a type of expression. So um, let's say I type in concentrate. Some figures have like five different versions, but um, it controls multiple morphs. And you can do that to change his facial expression. Then also, with the Genesis figure, that has something called shaping, which you can access on your left tab here. And but just by using sliders, you can change the shape of the figure. You can make him fat. You can make him skinny. And you can just mess the sliders and mix them around. And all oh, the clothes still fit on the Genesis figure. And then to rotate part of the figure, you'll just select it and use these rotating buttons. Or you can go over here to parameters and click all. Try my search. And I find this easier to control the figure with. And you can do it for all the Plausible body parts. And then if you double click on them though, you have the whole figure selected, so move the whole figure. Which can also be useful. Also, another way to pose the figure is you go up here to Tools, and then you go to Activate Pose, and you can just drag the figure into whatever pose you want. Although it does start moving other parts of the figure. And then you also have preset poses. So let me go down here to Genesis, poses, and I'll just set this guy into a preset pose. And then you can change it with this tool. Now if it starts to move body parts you don't want it to move, the way you can fix that is go to his arm and go to parameters and you can put all those joints on lockdown so it cannot move those joints. This is also useful when you're combining poses. So if I want half the pose to him be sitting down, but I still want his arms to be like this, you can just lock the joints and it will make the what you want. It takes a little bit, but it does help with your keyframing. So that's how to change the pose in Death Studio 4 and use morphs. Oh, before I just end this tutorial. I'll load in a poser figure.
Uh, this figure has a morph. So if I go around here to his face, and one way to speed up how fast your computer is running is to move it to wireframe. Mine because I'm using screen capture software, it slows it way down. But if you have a lot of items in the scene, it's useful to use lit wireframe. Okay, I'll switch back to texture shaded. So you click on this figure and you go to parameters and down to morphs. So this you can change his morphs. And you just have to be careful not to do it too much. Otherwise the model will explode or implode like this. But it gives you full control of it. So that's how to do morphs and post controls and Death Studio.